There are lots of kinds of dogs, they're everywhere you go. They're big and small and in between, and some of them you know. And now I'll name off 20 dogs as different as can be. And when the show is through, you will be naming them all with me. Are you ready? Beagle, Poodle, Cocker, Spaniel, Husky, and Sharpay, Dalmatian, St. Bernard, and Collie, Schnauzer, Dachshund, and Great Dane, Chihuahua, Greyhound, German, Shepherd, Bulldog, Doberman, Pinscher, and Sheep, Zoo, Lab, Retriever, Basset, Hound, and Jack Russell Terrier, too. Okay, let's go back now and sing it even faster. Are you ready for this? Okay then, let's go. Start with the Beagle. Beagle, Poodle, Cocker, Spaniel, Husky, and Sharpay, Dalmatian, St. Bernard, and Collie, Schnauzer, Dachshund, and Great Dane, Chihuahua, Greyhound, German, Shepherd, Bulldog, Doberman, Pitcher, and Shih Tzu, Lab, Retriever, Basset, Hound, and Jack Russell Terrier, too. Phew! Take a look at all of our 20 dogs here together. What do you think makes dogs different? On one side, over here on the right, is Chester, the Chihuahua. And all the way over here on the left is Harley, the Great Dane. You can see the dogs are all lined up in a row, from tallest to shortest. Chester is the shortest. Harley is the tallest. And right in the middle is Sawyer, the Cocker Spaniel. So one thing that makes dogs different is their size. Just look at Chester when he's standing right next to Harley. How many Chesters do you think it would take to be as tall as Harley? Well, let's find out. One, two, three, four, five. Whoa, it would take five Chesters standing on top of each other to be as tall as Harley. Chihuahua is the name of a state in Mexico. And some people think that's where chihuahuas got their name. Chihuahuas are one of the smallest kinds of dogs. They're always short, and they can be very skinny, too. In fact, many chihuahuas weigh less than six pounds, even when they're fully grown. That's about the same as a newborn baby. Like babies, some chihuahuas have a soft spot on the top of their head. This spot is called a molera. Some chihuahuas are very hyper. This is another difference between kinds of dogs. While some dogs can hardly sit still and run around barking all the time, other dogs are lazy and almost never bark. This is called a dog's temperament. A dog's temperament is how it usually acts. Most little dogs are more active than bigger dogs. What else can you say about little dogs? It isn't so bad to be so very small No, it isn't so bad No, no, not at all So don't be too sad if you're not very tall Cause it ain't so bad when you're so very small Well, you can ask my pal Ranger about when he lost his ball Cause he's a big German Shepherd, couldn't reach it at all there are things that get harder all the bigger you grow So when you ask Big old Ranger, he will tell you that it isn't so bad To be so very small, no it isn't so bad No, no, not at all, so don't be too sad if you're not very tall Cause it ain't so bad when you're so very small or ask my good buddy Buck, cause he's a huge St. Bernard How many times in a week he gets to ride in the car There are places get smaller all the bigger you grow So when you run into Buck, he's sure to tell you that It isn't so bad to be so very small No, it isn't so bad, no, no, not at all So don't be too sad if you're not very tall Cause it ain't so bad when you're so very small and let my good friend old Morgan, just an old basset hound, tell you when was the last time someone carried him around. There are things you can't ask for all the bigger you grow. So when you talk to old Morgan or you run into Buck, or if you ask big old Ranger, they'll all tell you that it isn't so bad to be so very small. No, it isn't so bad. No, no, not at all. So don't be too sad if you're not very tall. 
Cause it ain't so bad when you're so very small No, it isn't so bad to be so very small No, it isn't so bad No, no, not at all So don't be too sad if you're not very tall Cause it ain't so bad when you're so very small While Chihuahuas are some of the smallest dogs in the world, Great Danes, like Harley, are some of the biggest. The tallest dogs in the world are usually Great Danes. Some of these dogs measure more than 40 inches at the withers. That's more than three feet tall. What's the withers, you ask? The withers is the spot between the dog's front shoulders, right here. At times, Great Danes have been used to hunt wild boars, deer, and wolves. A Dane is another name for someone from Denmark. Hundreds of years ago, Great Danes were popular dogs for the royalty in that country. The St. Bernard is another kind of dog that's very big. Like Great Danes, St. Bernards can be very tall. But St. Bernards are usually heavier than Great Danes. The heaviest dogs in the world are usually St. Bernards. Some of these dogs weigh in at more than 300 pounds. St. Bernards are famous as rescue dogs and get their name from the St. Bernard Mountain Pass in the Swiss Alps. These dogs would be able to detect the scent of people when they were lost in the snow, and then they could help to dig them out if they were stuck. St. Bernards and Great Danes are very big. Can you think of other dogs that are big? Being little is all good and fine But don't say it's best Till you've been big like I am Can a small dog or a little pup Give his owner a kiss While he is standing up a no Trick who will get there faster chasing down a stick? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 I think you know. I think you know. Eating's my favorite of all the things I do, and who do you think will get a lot more food? Oh, oh, oh. This is another big dog. 
His name is Cash, and he's a Doberman Pinscher. Pinscher is the German word for terrier. The name Doberman comes from the name of the man who is said to have first raised these dogs. Dobermans are loyal, intelligent, and brave. Because Dobermans have been used as guard dogs and by the police and military, they have a reputation for being very tough. And Dobermans can be scary if they want to. But they can also be very nice. Cash, for example, is gentle and good with kids, even though he has an intimidating snarl. So looks can be deceiving. Big, mean-looking dogs can be nice. And small, friendly-looking dogs can be mean. It's important to know that each individual dog is different. Here's another example. Ellie and Charlie are both dachshunds, but they have different personalities. The name dachshund means badger dog in German. Dox means badger, and hund means dog. Dachshunds have been used for hunting animals that live underground, like badgers. Their long, skinny bodies help them to get into underground tunnels to chase animals that live there. Dachshunds are also sometimes called wiener dogs. Some people say that dachshunds are a half dog high and two dogs long. This is because they're so short compared to most dogs, but have long bodies. Dachshunds are small dogs, and small dogs like to run and play all the time, right? Well, Charlie does like to play sometimes, but give him a chance and he'll usually choose to crash on the couch. On the other hand, Ellie likes to play ball and run around non-stop. So, don't think you know everything about a dog just because they're big or small, or look nice, or mean. Don't be fooled by a dog just because of his size. When you meet on the street, you might be surprised. It seems like every small dog should cuddle and be nice. But some small dogs will bark a lot, and some may even bite. And great big dogs seem mean, like they'll eat you up for lunch. But some are very friendly, and they'll lick your face a bunch. So don't be fooled by a dog just because of his size. When you meet on the street, you might be surprised. You'd think you'd find a small dog running all around. But some are very lazy, always sleeping on the ground. And some big dogs you'd think might be sleeping in the flowers, just might be going, 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 playing games for hours. Watch them play! Because of his size, when you meet on the street, you might be surprised. Cause there are big dogs who are nice, and there are small dogs who are mean. There are small dogs who are fat, and there are big dogs who are lean. There are big dogs who are fast, and there are small dogs who are slow. So be careful, don't be fooled, because you just don't ever know. No, you just don't ever know. So don't be fooled by a dog just because of his size. No, don't be fooled by a dog just because of his size. Don't be fooled by a dog just because of his size. When you meet on the street, you might be surprised. <laughs> Meet Bailey the Poodle. What if we were to take Bailey's hair and put it on Chester, the Chihuahua? Does Chester still look like a Chihuahua? No, not really. Well, maybe like a Chihuahua with a crazy hairdo. Poodles like Bailey have lots of very curly hair. So size isn't the only thing that makes dogs different from one another. Fur, which is a dog's hair, also makes dogs different from each other. A poodle's distinctive coat is moisture-resistant. This means it protects it from water and helps make them really good swimmers. 
Does the name Poodle sound like the word puddle? Some people think the name Poodle comes from a German word that means to splash around. Take a look at some dogs with distinctive coats. <laughs> no, 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 not that kind of coat. Besides, that's really more of a dress. Coat is another name for a dog's fur. This is Bonnie. Bonnie is a Shih Tzu. Shih Tzus are one of the oldest kinds of dogs and were raised to be pets to kings and rulers. This meant that they lived in castles and palaces and were very spoiled. Shih Tzus are prized for their beautiful, long, flowing coats. One idea is that Shih Tzus are named after the most beautiful woman of ancient China. Some people think that, because of their crazy hair, Shih Tzus look like lions. Or like chrysanthemums. So sometimes Shih Tzus have been called lion dogs or chrysanthemum dogs. This is Mitzi. Does she look like a lion or a chrysanthemum? Now check out these schnauzers. They have their own special kind of hair that makes them different, too. See how these guys look like they have mustaches and beards? Well, schnauzer means mustache in German, so you can imagine where they got their name. Schnauzers have been used to hunt down pests like rats and other small rodents. They're smart and loyal and can learn quickly. This is Ranger. He's a very smart schnauzer. He's friendly, patient, and good with kids. And he likes to be groomed. Have you ever seen a dog with such a cool mustache and beard? Curly or straight, long or short, cut and styled, or let it go. Striped or solid, spots or patches, buzzed or fro, beard or stashes. Call it hair, call it fur, call it any other word. It's my coat, it's my look, and I saw that glance you took. Call it cute, call it smart, cause I know I have your heart. It's my coat, it's my style, and I know it makes you smile. Red or brown, black or white, by color or even try, feathered or waves, rough or smooth, skin so tight or very loose. Call it hair, call it fur, call it any other word. It's my coat, it's my look, and I saw that glance you took. Call it cute, call it smart, cause I know I have your heart It's my coat, it's my style, and I know it makes you smile Keeping me warm, keeping me cool At home, at work, even in the pool I'll foo food up with ribbons and bows Or tough and mean, that's how I go Call it hair, call it fur, call it any other word It's my coat, it's my look, and I saw that glance you took Call it cute, call it smart, cause I know I have your heart It's my coat, it's my style, and I know it makes you smile Call it hair, call it fur, call it any other word It's my coat, it's my look, and I saw that glance you took Call it cute, call it smart, cause I know I have your heart It's my code, it's my style, and I know it makes you smile This is Lassie. She's a collie. See how pretty her coat is? Like Mitzi, 
Lassie has long hair. Collies come from Scotland and were often used as sheepdogs. They're usually very friendly and gentle. Some people think their name might mean useful. Lassie is a kind of collie called a rough collie because she has so much fur. Now that we've met some dogs with different kinds of coats, let's meet a few that have unusual skin. This is Bianca. Do you know what kind of dog Bianca is? That's right, she's a Sharpe. Why do you think Bianca has so many wrinkles? Is it because she's really old? No, Bianca isn't very old at all. In fact, Bianca was much more wrinkly when she was just a puppy. As they get older, they grow into their loose skin. So by the time they're grown up, like Bianca, their skin is only wrinkly around the head, neck, and withers. Like Shih Tzus, Sharpays are originally from China. Their name means sand skin. That's because their coat is rough. Sharpays also have small ears. Do you know what part of a dog is called the muzzle? A muzzle is the dog's nose and mouth. The muzzle is sometimes also called the snout. Some people think that Sharpays have a hippopotamus-shaped muzzle. What do you think? Here's another dog that has funny skin. Have you ever seen a Basset Hound? This Basset Hound is named Morgan. In French, the word Basset means very low. Like beagles and dachshunds, Basset Hounds are short and used for hunting animals. Check out the skin around Morgan's neck. See how it hangs loose? This skin is called the dewlap and helps keep smells close to Morgan's face. This makes Morgan and other Basset Hounds very good at smelling other animals. Basset Hounds can track the scent or smell of animals that it hunts. Here's something else that makes Basset Hounds good for hunting. See how Morgan has a tail that looks like it's been tipped in white? This means that even when Morgan's walking through weeds and bushes, you can still see his tail. Basset Hounds usually work together in groups called packs. So when they're left all alone, they can get very sad. Does Morgan look sad to you? Because of their dewlap, long floppy ears, and big eyes, Basset Hounds do look sad most of the time. But when they're really sad, Basset Hounds sometimes howl or whine instead of barking. Have you ever heard a Basset Hound howl? There's a rabbit just outside. He's been playing in our yard. I can hear him hopping round. Don't have to listen very hard. A gaggle of geese flew by. You wouldn't believe how low. I spied them with my eyes and caught their scent with my nose. If your nose worked like mine, if your ears heard this well, you'd bark and maybe whine. What's that sound? What's that smell? A lizard tries to hide his colors in the grass. Guess he doesn't understand how I can sniff him down so fast. Then marching in a line comes a family of quail. How'd you know I found them? Am I waggling my tail? If your nose worked like mine, if your ears heard this well, you'd bark and maybe whine. What's that sound? What's that smell? I bet you didn't know there's a big dog down the road and another little tiny dog who lives almost as close. Yep, I can hear them call, can pick their scent up too. Is it not so amazing what a dog like me can do? If your nose worked like mine, if your ears heard this well, you'd bark and maybe whine. What's that sound? What's that smell? So the next time that you wonder about that look upon my face, about that crazy sound I make or what I'm giving chase, 
Just remember, I can smell stuff you don't even catch a whiff. And I can hear all kinds of things your human ears just miss. <gasps> did you hear that? I did. Better go check it out. If Basset Hounds look sad, what do you think about Archie, the bulldog? He almost looks mad, doesn't he? Because they have very short muzzles and droopy skin on their faces, bulldogs can seem like they're always frowning. This is Stewie. He's one tough bulldog. It is true that bulldogs can be mean. They got their name because, a long time ago, people used them to fight with bulls. <gasps> Yep, these little dogs would fight with big, huge bulls. So most bulldogs are very brave. It takes a lot to scare them. They'll even fight with much, much bigger dogs than they are. At the same time, some bulldogs are very gentle with people. Archie is actually very nice. And even though he usually looks grouchy, he's mostly happy. In fact, if you watch closely, you might even be able to catch him smiling under all that saggy skin. Don't even try to make me smile, I'm in a grouchy mood. Grouchy mood. Oh yeah. Grouchy mood. Oh no, none of your silly tricks will work. Not toys or games or food. Tasty food. Oh no. Tasty food. Oh yeah. Because this frown that you see is stuck on my face Nothing you can do to make a smile take its place Nothing you can do to make me smile Cause when I decide I'm feeling bad you might as well give up Just give up Oh yeah Just give up Oh no, always been stubborn this way since I was a little pup See this frown that you see is stuck on my face Nothing you can do to make a smile take its place Nothing you can do to make me smile Oh, I can feel your fingers tickling me, but you can never win You may think you got me now because you see me grin But you have made a big mistake, as very soon you'll see This great big frown is stuck on me Frown that you see is stuck on my face. Nothing you can do to make a smile take its place. Nothing you can do to make me smile. Okay, okay, you proved your point. Please stop before I lose control. Lose control. Oh yeah. Lose control. Oh no. Now look what you made me do. You better clean it up now, bro. Clean up, bro. Oh yeah. Clean up, bro. You got it. And now this smile that you see is stuck on my face Nothing you can do to make a frown take its place Nothing you can do to make me frown Yeah, this smile that you see is stuck on my face Nothing you can do to make a frown take its place Nothing you can do to make me frown No way, man. You can't make me frown now. But next time, no one to stop, dude. Bulldog, out. Now that we've talked about size, coats, and skin, what about color? Can you think of any dogs that are special colors? <laughs> This is Andy the Dalmatian. Dalmatians are black with white spots. Oh, oops, you're right. Dalmatians are white with black spots. If you've ever seen a newborn Dalmatian puppy, you would know that Dalmatians are born with pure white fur. Within a few weeks, though, spots begin to develop. By the time they're all grown up, Dalmatians have lots and lots of black spots all over their bodies, just like Andy. When carriages were used as the first fire trucks, Dalmatians would lead the firefighters to fires. Today, Dalmatians are still known as firehouse dogs. 
So, Dalmatians are white with black spots. But you may also see a Dalmatian that has brown spots. Have you heard of the country Croatia? Well, Dalmatians are named after a part of Croatia that's called Dalmatia. Whoa! Look at those dogs go! These speedy dogs actually have a color as part of their name. These dogs are called greyhounds, and they're considered to be the third fastest land mammal in the world. While some people think that the name greyhound means grey dog, you can clearly see here that greyhounds come in many different colors. Greyhounds can run fast, and they can reach top speed almost immediately. In less than two seconds, a greyhound can be cruising at 45 miles per hour. Here's two seconds. 1,001, 1,002. That's how long it takes a greyhound to go from standing still to running at full speed. Do you think you could keep up with a greyhound? In the past, greyhounds were used for coursing, which is a type of hunting where dogs chase and capture their prey. Today, greyhounds are known for their racing abilities. While greyhounds are very fast, when they're not running, they can be very lazy. For this reason, people sometimes call them 45 mile per hour couch potatoes. Besides being good at racing, greyhounds also make good pets. They're typically mellow and even tempered. This means that they're not likely to get angry at people or other dogs, and they don't bark too much. <laughs> This dog is called a beagle. While greyhounds don't normally bark much, beagles are known for being noisy. Beagles are usually white, black, and brown. But other color combinations are also possible, though they'll always have some white fur. Like basset hounds, they have a white tipped tail. Besides color, beagles can also be recognized by their ears, bodies, and the shape of their heads. A beagle's ears are usually long and soft and rounded at the ends. And they normally turn in toward the dog's face. Beagles have a reputation for being noisy, for howling and barking. In fact, some people say that the name beagle comes from a French word that means loud mouth. But not all beagles bark a lot. Like the dachshunds we met before, beagles are short and long. Remember how we said that dachshunds are sometimes called half a dog high and two dogs long? Some people say that the perfect beagle is twice as long as he is tall. And a beagle's head should have a fairly long snout and be domed at the occiput. Occiput is just a funny word for the back part of the cranium. And cranium is just a big word for the skull. So the occiput is right here. See how it's slightly domed or rounded? Is your occiput domed? Is your cranium round? Or is your head flat like a speedy greyhound? No matter its shape or its geometry, domed round or flat, it's quite perfect to me. Let me tell you a story about a dog we'll call Chap. So worried about his head, always wore a ball cap. Told that little doggy time and again. Head round or flat, you will still be my friend. Is your occiput domed? Is your cranium round? Or is your head flat like a speedy greyhound? No matter its shape or its geometry. Domed round or flat, it's quite perfect to me. Look at our good friend Cash, the coolest dog around. Head flat as a pancake, the flattest I've found. Or what of old Lassie's, no way that's a dome. Her head's long and thin, but she's the smartest dog I know. Is your occiput domed? Is your cranium round? Or is your head flat like a speedy greyhound? No matter its shape or its geometry. Domed round or flat, it's quite perfect to me. Then early one morning, while out for a walk, 
I saw my pal Chappy, no hat, what a shock. A simple mistake all along, he explained. Not the shape of my head, but a month-long bad hair day. Is your occiput domed? Is your cranium round? Or is your head flat like a speedy greyhound? No matter its shape or its geometry. Dome round or flat, it's quite perfect to me. Yes, dome round or flat, it's quite perfect to me. <laughs> Sawyer the Cocker Spaniel also has a domed occiput, although it's hard to tell with all the hair he has. And Cocker Spaniels have distinctive ears. Their ears are even longer than the beagles, and they're feathered. This doesn't mean that they actually have feathers, like bird feathers. It just means that they have long hair that grows out at an uneven length. If a Cocker Spaniel's hair is allowed to grow, it will have feathered hair all over. The name Cocker Spaniel comes from the fact that these dogs are believed to have come from Spain originally. They were then used in England to hunt woodcocks, which are birds found in the forest or woods. <coughs> Cocker Spaniels are very friendly, smart, and trainable. <laughs> Now, have you ever seen this kind of dog before? Do you know what they're called? Yep, this is a husky, or as they're sometimes called, a Siberian husky. The name husky might come from Esky, a nickname given to Eskimos, the people who lived in parts of the cold Arctic. Huskies usually have white paws, legs, and facial markings. Very often, they are black and white, or gray and white. However, huskies can be any color, from black to pure white. Now, do you know what huskies do? That's right. Huskies are best known as sled dogs. Huskies love to run. They're famous for pulling sleds in races where it's snowy and cold. <laughs> Meet Ranger. He might look a little mean, but he's a very good dog. Can you guess what kind of dog Ranger is? Very good. Ranger is a German Shepherd. See Ranger's ears? They stand straight up. Not like Morgan's. Some people think this helps to make German Shepherds look more smart and alert. What do you think? Can you guess from their name what job German Shepherds were originally used for? Did you guess watching sheep? The word shepherd means someone who herds or takes care of sheep. These dogs are very smart and, when trained well, can be very obedient. Because German Shepherds are so obedient and smart, they are used today as police dogs, search and rescue dogs, guard dogs, and guide dogs. Disabilities, and here's one now who's good at herding sheep. I say, Wow, they rock, and there's even more. Well, this dog races faster than I've seen before, and here's one who stands guard on your property, and this one here leads a sledding team. You hear him singing, just doing my job. I'm just trying. Dives and 
and then swim some more And this one retrieves balls or even sometimes birds While this one burrows down and digs up dirt Well that's cool, but don't stop Cause I'll show you now how this dog protects you with his mean old growl And here's one who will search if there's someone lost And this one here likes to show who's boss Here's a dog who tracks things with his sense of smell And here's one who can hunt for all kinds of prey And this big guy will chase the bad guys away Well, ride on, but tell me, do you work all day? Well, this dog sure don't, cause he loves to play But with all these dogs do, tell you in the end Best of all, they can be your friend Okay, we only have two more dogs left, and these two are two of the most popular dogs around, Labs and Jack Russells. This is Hudson, the Yellow Labrador. Most people call this kind of dog a Yellow Lab for short. The full name for a Labrador is Labrador Retriever. Labrador Retrievers are the most popular dog in the United States, so you might have seen one in your neighborhood. But here's something you might not know. Labs are great swimmers. Do you know why? Labs have tails like beavers, webbed toes, and a waterproof coat. Labs are also good hunting dogs. The Retriever part of the Labrador Retriever name comes from the fact that labs are good at retrieving or fetching things. Like birds, for example. Today, labs are used for many other jobs. The Labrador part of the name means worker in Spanish. Because they're usually gentle and smart, labs are often used as guide dogs. Meet Jack and Jill. They're both Jack Russell Terriers. Jack Russells are a very popular kind of dog. Like Dachshunds, Jack Russell Terriers have also been used for hunting. They get their name from a man named Jack Russell, who raised dogs to hunt foxes in England. And like Dachshunds, Jack Russells have small bodies, so they can chase animals into burrows and holes. In order to help find animals that are hiding, Jack Russells bark at their prey. They are very smart, and sometimes very hyper. This means that Jack Russells can be noisy and active, so they need lots of attention and exercise. We've done it. Those are our 20 dogs. As we've seen, they're all quite different from each other, though they're also quite alike in many ways. So, do you have a favorite? So happy, I love dogs and dogs love me.
tongue Cause you like to play, always ready to run Cause you get excited with something to eat Cause you like sniffing and licking my feet Can't help put a smile on my face What's the use, so oh, it's always the case Guess what makes me so in my bed cause you bug out your eyes every time you play dead cause you like to dance so oh, when you really jive cause you stand up when you give me high five oh, cause of the smile when your belly is scratched cause you can chase down a frisbee and catch 